Hey guys, what's up? This is Golden Reviewer, and nice to see you again. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and just do a quick check of the temperature. It's around 30 degrees C, which is perfectly fine. I think you also noticed that it has the data cable connected. This is because we are going to test 120 FPS game on this today. So to reduce the impact, I've already charged it fully to 100% so that it's not charging while we are testing the game. The game we are to use is Pascal's Wager, and this is the first and only game that supports 120 FPS on the iPhone 13 series now. So as you can see here, I've set the graphics to Ultra and enabled 120 Hz for frame rate. And of course, I'm just like you, I'm waiting for the popular titles like like PUBG or LOL to update to support 120 FPS. But before that happens, let's just take a look at this game. Maybe just as a preview of 120 FPS gaming on iPhone. As you can see, soon after we started the game, the FPS drops from 120 to 60. It seems to me that the thermal restriction Apple puts on this device is just way too aggressive. But then after like 10-20 seconds, we see that the FPS goes back to 120 again. So it seems that the device just cannot decide whether it wants to stay at 60 or go to 120. And now after less than 30 seconds, it drops to 60 again. I think this is not something that the game can control. It should be on the operating system level. And to me, the constant switch from 120 to 60 and then from 60 back to 120 is pretty annoying because it makes the experience super incoherent. Okay, now let me speed up the video a little bit so that you can see more clearly how the device switches from high refresh rate and uh, 60 FPS. Okay, just now the device did another round of switch uh, between 120 and 60. Now let's just check out the temperature of the device. As you can see, the highest temperature point is just like 40, 41 degrees. By this point, I've had enough of this constant throttling and the device not being able to reach 120 FPS. So I'll try the Black Shark magnetic cooler and see if it can cool the device and maintain a stable 120 FPS. So it seems that the Black Shark cooler is still not cool enough for the iPhone to maintain 120 FPS. So I tried another one. I have another uh, Red Magic cooler which has two fans. And let's see if this one does better. Okay, so this Red Magic cooler does cool down the device a little bit more than the, the Black Shark cooler and I can play the game at 120 FPS for slightly longer times. Although I still get occasional drops to 60, but I think it's quite apparent to see that I have more time in 120 FPS. Okay, let's just take a final look at the device temperature. I find the hottest spot is around 43 to 44 degrees C. And apparently Apple thinks this temperature is too high. Finally, let's check out the FPS record. As you can see, so before we started using the super strong Red Magic cooler, the game almost didn't run at 120 FPS at all, right? It just occasionally go up to 120 for like 10, 20, 30 seconds, and then it go back down to 60 straight away. It's a very bad experience. Uh, it makes it very inconsistent. Like you, you can definitely feel the difference, right? When it's 120 hertz, super smooth, and then only after a short while, it go back to that not so smooth 60 hertz. I think I might just as well use 60 hertz all the time. And then because I had to use a cable to record 120 FPS, I couldn't test the power consumption, but I still managed to run a separate test without measuring the FPS. Uh, but this time I could measure the power because I use wireless. And some interesting data I find is that uh, when the device is running at 120 FPS, 
the power consumption goes up to 6.3 watt. And I think we all know that iPhone without any thermal design is not able to dissipate 6.3 watt of heat. And that is why Apple has to throttle it down to 60 Hertz. And you can see those lower power points at two to three watts, those are under 60 Hertz. So there is a huge difference in power consumption and heat generation between 60 and 120 Hertz. So it seems that this iPhone as an overall package is just not ready for 120 FPS games yet. So yes, I think many of you were like me, we had our hopes super high. We saw that if Apple is going to do 120 Hertz, Apple will be doing it right. And 120 FPS games will be amazing on the iPhone 13 Pro. However, it seems that it's not the case. So please keep your expectations a little bit lower and of course subscribe to my channel. So in the future, as more and more games support high refresh rate, I'll be testing them. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.